Hello everyone. 6th of November. It's gone down to the end of the year already and I've got this beautiful excitement inside of myself. Nothing I can explain. It's not that I really have something to look forward to but I'm excited because it feels that there's potential in the air. Maybe you're feeling it that you are ready for a rebirth, a reset. And that's very much about what this what this week is about. It's about allowing yourself to know what's right for you and what's good for you and make maybe make very important decisions and maybe hectic decisions. The last couple of weeks we've seen people confronting us with our truth, people um, blocking our truth because we had to stand up more into our truth and our awareness. I've seen through people entering my life that some people were sort of really not in tune with me or who I am and then I always think okay why is this showing up what is it teaching me but Archangel Michael assured me that this is a global thing we are also attracting things that aren't in line with us just to realign again just to simplify but also to to determine this is me this is what I want, this is what I live, this is what I create, and then take responsibility to do that in a good way. So last week I still saw lots of anger, irritation coming up, you know. We don't really want to be humans anymore, so we get irritated by other humans. But we are here for a reason, and we are here to anchor ourselves in these physical bodies for a reason. And if you've been struggling with health and pain, with this realigning, and with all the energy changes that came through this lunar month, with all the eclipses, lots of things happening. At this stage, we are open to receive the answers and guidance, to go into a deeper understanding of what is it that I need to know to take better care of myself. Because we tend to just sort of try and find the answers without connecting to spirit about it, me, myself. And I realized that on Saturday. And... I've been in lots of pain for a couple of months now and it's been really affecting me. And I know it's part of the DNA changes, but although it's part of a, a spiritual shift, we are still on earth to find the answers as to how to help incorporate this in the body to make it easier for the bodies or to help the bodies adapt. And then when I surrendered this situation, the answer was so simple. You know, we, we get so frustrated and entangled in the difficulty of things and how overwhelmed we are. And then we get angry and agitated and we really just don't want to continue. But when you let go and when you say, please just show me, guide me, it will be there. And we keep forgetting that. And so the two cards that I drew from my Archangel card deck. Two cards came out. It's Archangel Yaniel. I love Yaniel. Always a beautiful, gentle energy. And she says, infinite. You are an infinite being. And this is to remember that what you are going through now is a teeny tiny little bit of your whole existence. This is like a moment, a wing of an eye in the whole of your existence. So where is your focus? Do, does the focus really need to be on problem solving, solutions, reality based stuff? Or do we need to see the bigger picture? Do we need to focus on our soul's progress and what we create and do for our soul and thus invite miracles and excitement? Or do we really want to be stuck in reality? Everybody tells me, but this is reality. It's not my reality. It's your choice. <laughs> Second God is Ashrael. Self-love. No, true self. True self. So the true self. Who am I? What do I want? How do I live it? How do I create it? How do I invite it? How do I set the intentions to allow this joy and freedom in my life? Do I take responsibility for my decisions? Do I change my decisions to work for me? 
So many things are up in the air because we don't show up for our soul path and our soul purpose. And I see the excuses. I mean, I have my own excuses, but I'm aware of them. And I try to move beyond them. And people are still so stuck in their reality-based excuses. And this is what we are here on earth to shift. Get beyond the finances, the health, the, the difficulty, the struggle, the survival. We are here to change that pattern. You need to start showing up. First, start showing up for yourself. Change it for you. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Don't live the life everybody else has been living for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years. This is up to you. This is your time. You decided to be here to be that change. Now be that change. Be responsible. And just do it. That's what I do. And I want to inspire you to also do that. And know that you are guided. And that you are loved. And you are never alone. And as long as you start showing up for yourself. And you practice self-love. And you do the things that you feel guided to do. There's no way you can go wrong. But if you get stuck in the I can't because of this and this and this and this. You are missing the point. And unfortunately... Some way, you're going to have to catch up. And that's going to be even more difficult. So I'll rather go with trusting the miracles right now than falling behind and then being forced to catch up later. It's not that the angels force us or God forces us. It's the change that ha that's happening on earth. And the change will keep happening whether you stay with it or not. So rather stay with it, I'd say. It's not that difficult. Just be aware. Show up. Be present. Take responsibility. Be that change. And all will be well in your world. And I so hope that lots of you will join me in Ireland next year as we take this vibration within our bodies and within our lives to a new level i'm so excited so please contact me either if you want a reading for yourself or if you want to join my island spiritual group just send me a message on angel messages at telcomsa.net i can put you on the whatsapp groups and you will always know what's going on look at how excited i am can you see that <laughs> so i'm sending all of you so much love and remember there's always help. There's always guidance. And I'm here for you. Just send me a message. Bye, guys.